Shall the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in a three-year collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Police Association officers, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing levels. 2016, 72,616, 39 weeks over the 2015 level. 2017, 110,583, 52 weeks over the 2016 level. 2018, 114, 445, over 52 weeks over the 17, 2017 level. 2019, 26,353, 13 weeks over the 2018 level. And further, to raise and appropriate the sum of 72616 to fund the cost items related to the Police Association officers' salaries and benefits for 2016. Such sum represents the additional salaries and benefits over the 2015 budget level for the 2016 portion of the three years that are contained in a collective bargaining agreement between the Town of Hampton by its Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Police Association officers pursuant to New Hampshire RSA 273A. The compounded cumulative cost impact over the three contract years is estimated to be $660,273. Majority vote required. Madam Chair? Yes. This is a uh, reworded article from the one we uh, discussed in the Budget Committee. Uh, as such, I think we ought to discuss it now as a Budget Committee and then open it for public after we vote on the article. And that's true for the next two articles as well. Do you have copies of these for us in writing? Dave, whereas you walked in, coming in now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would recommend to the committee right now that we move discussion, further discussion on Article 14 and 15 to the end of our session. That's all that for me. Madam Chair, I would suggest that the, the presentation of the Warren article with new wording effectively nullifies our vote on it. Warren articles that were worded differently. True, true. That so true. we have no budget committee stand on this to present to the public. And we really ought to do that so that the public can speak to whatever position we're taking as well as the merits of the contract itself. No. Just as we're doing with all the other articles. No. No. Yes, Scott. The you know, the meat of the of the article is the breakdown of the impact two thousand sixteen to two thousand and nineteen. That hasn't changed. It's it's a number in the in the last sentence that, that changed. Right. And I, and I believe this these articles passed uh, the budget committee. So well, a, diff a different article, a different wording passed. In, in the I last in the last sentence, that doesn't impact the uh, the taxpayer at all. Well, I disagree. A different article is a different article. Madam Chairman, if I may, yes, that this new amount is twice as much as what was in that similar line when we were considering it at the Budget Committee. And when you're trying to make the voter aware of the actual cost, this is closer by times two what was in the original order when we voted on. So I think that is a very serious change to the order. Thank you. Madam Chair, would you like me to overview what took place? I'm sorry? Would you like me to overview what took place for the public? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we so we could you were pretty much of an overview last night of our confusion and with what happened. The problem right now is procedural um, and where we are because we're in the mid middle of a public hearing. Usually we take revotes at the end of a session, but we're looking at an amendment too. So I believe I have to shut down this public hearing to go into a vote and then re enter it. Is that correct? Let me ask legal counsel. Procedurally, I'm, I'm a little stuck right now. <coughs> I think you should take it up now, right in the order it's in. Take it in the order and take a revote. Sure, if that's, getting, if that's what you wish. And I'm getting that correct from council. That's my recommendation. Um, to give a little bit of background on where we got yeah. stuck on this, right? we found um, somewhat of a defect in the wording as we were reviewing this last night, somewhere around 11 o'clock. 
um, with very little time to change it. Um, it would have to to be done today, and I'm sure there was some scrambling, Jamie, that went on today to do just that. If you'd like me to, I can tell you what we took place today. If you would. Based on the discussion last night, where that bottom line number, and again, uh, okay. we talked last night, historically this is the number that was copied from what the wording was in a prior year, mm -hmm. um, and the discussion last night was to be on an overabundance of caution that we appropriately um, noticed that with a compounded interest. Now, first, as you did with the uh, teacher's contract before, that, that number is not required by law. It's something that the town has included starting in 2014. So that we're clear, it doesn't have to be there. But over an abundance of caution last night, there was some de debate discussion. So we went back this morning, reassessed it, rechecked with council, and felt over an abundance uh, of being open. We recalculated based on the discussion from last night, Mr. Blair. Uh, we spoke to him as well today. And so we moved forward the selectmen of approved rewording of that last sentence so that we can make sure that we're being as clear as possible with what the compounded impact is over that three-year contract period. That's really it. Can you give me that last sentence again? The last sentence reads, the compounded cumulative cost impact over the three contract years is estimated to be 660,273. motion for a revote on this article? I, I will move uh, Article 14 for approval, Madam Chair. I'll second it. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. Uh, if I may ask Jamie, uh, so the Board of Selectmen met, uh, I assume, sometime today. That's correct. Uh, since we were there until midnight last night, pretty much. It had to have been today. And uh, they decided to change the wording to reflect the total uh, cumulative cost, as it's phrased in here. That's correct. And uh, as a result of the discussion from the Budget Committee that took place last night, I congratulate the Board of Selectmen for, uh, for taking action and correcting this as best as they could, given the short time frame that we have to work on, and I'm ready to vote, Madam Chair. Ma Madam Chairman. Uh, any other Mr. discussion? Ma Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Jones did not vote for this in the affirmative, so he is not allowed on your uh, policy, according to you, Mr. Jones. Point of order, Madam Chair. Yes. This is not a motion to reconsider. Right, this, this is, is a motion for the article Michael. as presented tonight. And in fairness to the article, it came in the wrong way. And um, I think that considerably affected the vote, not on the substance of the CBA, but on the substance of the number that was incorrect. So I am going to ask one more time is there anybody else on this committee who has a question before I take a re-vote on this article a new vote a new vote that's right okay all those in favor I roll call bridal <coughs> Blair uh, Kravitz Lapham Latimer LaBranch Bluff Bullockland Lad Nickerson Jones in the affirmative. Thank you. Being affirmative. Okay. Those voting no? Zanoy. Yeah. Zanoy. Okay. And that carries by a vote of 12 to 2. No abstentions. <coughs> 